We are two months into hurricane season and we know how a storm forms, but what factors hurt a storm's development? Meteorologist Brittany Van Voorhees shows you what weakens a hurricane in this morning's Weather IQ. Tropical cyclones thrive in warm ocean waters due to the heat and moisture the sea provides. As a storm encounters more warmth and more fuel, it'll grow stronger and become more intense. So what can stop a tropical storm or hurricane? Wind shear, land interaction, and dry air. Number one, wind shear hurts a cyclone by shearing or ripping the top of the storm. This disrupts vertical motion and prevents the updrafts from forming a typical tall thunderstorm cloud. This happened earlier in the season with tropical storm Alex. The storm was unable to strengthen or form a closed center of circulation, causing it to look so lopsided. Number two, land interaction. This can do a number on a tropical cyclone. Land weakens a storm due to lack of moisture and heat sources. This impacts a cyclone's ability to produce storms near the center. This will eventually cause the eye to collapse and the storm to weaken or dissipate. Sometimes you might hear a meteorologist talk about the Caribbean mountains having a similar effect. This occurs much quicker due to the taller nature of the terrain, which disrupts the wind circulating around the low. And number three, since hurricanes are like a steam engine sucking up all of the moisture possible, any dry air or Saharan dust will immediately halt production. Even if warm and moist ocean water is present, dry air can erode a tropical cyclone from the inside out. Another impact that's less common is upwelling from a previous hurricane. When a storm moves over that water, it pulls the colder air from the bottom of, to the top of the surface. Tropical cyclones need a water temperature of at least 79 degrees Fahrenheit. If a cyclone tried to follow in another's path, it would hit the area of colder water and just fall apart. For WCNC Charlotte, I'm meteorologist Brittany Van Voorhees.